Hey guys, and here I'd like to share with you uh, results of my investigation. So this deck is Nakamichi LX5, and I was testing it finally before assembling and found that uh, Dolby C was not working properly on one channel. It was crackling, so my first idea was I replaced all polypropylene capacitors on the Dolby board to make it running. It did, did not help. Then I started replacing more capacitors and replacing like maybe five transistors, which are switching the modes. It didn't help. I was switching uh, chips between two channels. Uh, problems still were persist on this channel. As you may see, like all parts here, like has been replaced. I was thinking more what might be a root cause. And uh, finally, I decided again to pull up the microchips. And here uh, you may see a root cause. So if you would see carefully, then you may find that pin number two, right here, uh, is bent and it don't connect to the microchip legs when it's inserted. That was a problem, and that was like a preventing chip to work properly and decode the signal. So Dolby B was working because Dolby B uses just one chip, and Dolby C uses both chips in this configuration with these microchips. Uh, and that was a, a, a root cause why this Dolby C decoder didn't work properly. It was producing very distorted sounds, so I'm happy that finally I was able to solve this problem because I spent probably around eight or nine hours over a course of three days trying to solve it, looking into schematic, trying to understand what next steps I can do to have it fixed. So if you would have similar problems, uh, please make sure that you will check all parts, including the beds for the microchips. Now it works properly. I will assemble it and we'll make a test video where we will be to recording and playing the music. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.